Hello children. Welcome to Leeds International School Primary 5 First Midterm English Literature A Jumble for the Queen By the end of this lesson, students will be able to learn what historical play scripts are, setting of a story, improve their vocabulary, reading skills, and students can learn about characters. Okay children, first of all let's see what a historical play script is. A written text of a play representing events drawn fully or partly from recorded history. Play scripts have a different structure when telling a story as it is said in dialogues. It begins with a list of characters then divided into scenes, acts and story flows with dialogues of the roles and stage directions are given too. This is a historical play script which tells us of an actual event happened in the past in a script. Ok children, take out your English literature book and a pencil to underline any difficult word that you find when you are reading it. Let's read the chapter, Jumble for the Queen, by Julia Donaldson, page number 12 to 15. Characters Narrator Percival Platter, a pastry cook in Sir Richard's Ashes House. Joanne, a maid, age 12. Tom, Joanne's schoolboy brother, age 10. Tom's schoolmaster, Queen Elizabeth, 1. Scene 1 Narrator It's 7 of the clock and a fine summer morning. Percival, too fine. I'm sweating already and I can't find the mince dates. Narrator In Sir Richard's house in Kent, everyone is busy. The serving men and the stable lads, the butlers and the brewers, the carvers and the chambermaids. Percival And the cooks? Narrator How many cooks? Percival I am too busy to count. But not enough pastry cooks. Joanne, Joanne, where is that little liar bed? Joanne, I'm not lying in bed. I'm here and I'm cutting herbs. Percival, cutting herbs? What about the custard tarts? Don't you know the queen comes here tonight? Joanne, Yes, Mr. Platter. How could I not know? But the mistress said she needed some more herbs to strew on the floor. She said the queen likes the smell of them. Percival. The queen likes the taste of custard tarts. That's all I care about. And now she won't be getting any at this rate. Now, run along to the dairy and fetch some more milk. Joanne. Yes, sir. Percival, where did I put those mince dates? We'll never be ready in time. Scene 2 Narrator 7.15 of the clock and Joanne's brother Tom is late for school. Master, and where is your cap, Thomas? Tom, it, uh, it blew away, sir. Master, I could beat you for being late, Thomas, and I could beat you for losing your cap. Do you want to be beaten? Tom, no, sir. Master, what is that on your satchel, Thomas? Tom, nothing, sir. Master, yes, it is. It's your cap, and it's wet. Why is it wet, Thomas? Tom, I... 
I was catching frogs in it on the way to school, sir. Master, I think perhaps you do want to be beaten after all. Thomas. Scene 3. Narrator. 10 of the clock. And the Queen is leaving London. Not just the Queen. Hundreds of people and thousands of horses. Wagons full of clothes and jewels, pictures, books, bedclothes. Queen. And beer? Weak beer? Of all things, I did a strong beer. Narrator. The people of London throng the streets to watch the magnificent procession pass by. Everyone, long live the Queen. Queen, I thank you, good people of London. I am leaving you now for the fair Count of Kent. But though I am away, may your love for me remain in your hearts till I return. Everyone, God bless the Queen. Scene 4 Narrator Half past ten of the clock In Sir Richard's kitchen The custard tarts are all made. Percival But not the Queen's pies. Joanne Joanne What are you doing with the vinegar? You should be peeling quinces. Joanne but the mistress asked me to make some tooth soap first. Percival, tooth soap? Tooth soap? What do we want with tooth soap at a time like this? Joanne, the mistress thought the queen might need some for her teeth after eating all our puddings. Percival, she can't eat the puddings if we haven't finished making them. Joanne, it won't be long, sir. I mix the vinegar and white wine. I just need to add the honey and then boil it up. Percival, but what about the queen's pies? We'll never be ready in time. Scene 5 Narrator 11 of the clock and the schoolboys are having their dinner. Master Thomas don't cut your nails at the table. Tom, I am sorry, sir. Master, what is the proper use of a penknife, Thomas? Tom, for shaping quills into pens, sir. Master, and how do you say in Latin, the boy who cuts his nails with a penknife will be beaten? Tom, uh, uh, that's... The boy who, uh, I don't know the rest, sir. Master, and you didn't know your Latin poem this morning. Latin is the key to all knowledge, Thomas. Haven't I told you that? Tom, yes, you have, sir. Master, I have told you in words, Thomas, but now I think that Perhaps the birch rod will speak to you better than I can. You will bring me the rod after dinner, Thomas. Tom. Oh, no, sir, please, sir, no. Master. Oh, yes, Thomas. Children, let's look at the settings of this play. In this play, there are five scenes and each scene has a different setting. First scene, Sir Richard's kitchen. Second scene, in the school. Third scene, in London, during the procession. Fourth scene, again in Sir Richard's kitchen. Fifth scene, in the dining room. Okay, let's look at the meaning of these words. Script. It's the written text of a play. Dialogue. What the characters are saying. Character. Ones who perform in the play. Scene. How the play is broken up into parts. Setting. 
the place where and when the play is set. Narrator The person who describes the action of a scene without being a character in a play. Mince dates Dates cut into very small pieces using a machine. Stable lad Who looks after the horses in a racing stable. Butler The chief manservant of a house. Brewers A person that manufactures beer. Carvers a person who carves a hard material professionally. Chambermaids. Women who cleans bedrooms and bathrooms. Straw. Spread. Tart. An open pastry case containing a sweet or savory filling. Fetch. Bring. Satchel. School bag. Wagon. A vehicle used for transporting goods or another specified purpose. Detest. Hate or dislike. Throng. Crowd. Magnificent. Wonderful. Superb. Procession. Parade. Queens. Pair, quill, any of the main wing or tail feathers of a bird. Birch rod, cane. Okay children, it is your time to answer these questions by reading the chapter. Who are the characters of the play? Question number two, what is the job of the narrator? Number three, what is this incident about? Number four, where is Queen going? Number five, what do you think of Thomas? Well, children, this is the end of our lesson. I hope you understood it very well. Thank you for watching.